Hey guys, it's Dee for your weekly reading for January 10th to the 16th. So this is for all signs. If you are here watching this video, this message is for you. We're going to keep these two as the overall energy. Um, yeah, so if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, just not your message this week. Okay, so... If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell notification to get notified when I do go live. I am planning on going live. I do go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you can catch me with good things about healing after toxic relationships. Um, that is what I do. I help women heal after they've been through toxic relationships. So if that is you, you can check out those other videos on this YouTube channel. All right, so let's see what is happening for this week. So our overall energy is a little bit <laughs> contradictive here, but I feel as though we are going to start to feel a little bit, we've got the Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold. It could be feeling lonely. It could be feeling isolated, um, but um, maybe that somebody left you. This could definitely be a breakup. Uh, something like that. Somebody left abandonment issues as well. But I do feel here with the overall energy that there is a new beginning here with this Ace of Wands. So that is beautiful energy for this week. I do feel as though you've been through a lot here with, with these other cards. You've got the Five of Swords, which is being stabbed in the back. You've got the Queen of Wands. You've got the Hermit card. And then you've got the Ten of Swords. So I do feel like it's a roller coaster ride, just like over here, right? This brand new, beautiful energy with this Ace of Wands, but then the Five of Pentacles. So it's a definitely a roller coaster ride. You definitely could be dealing with a narcissist at this point because they could be coming back in and out of your life, trying to get you back, trying to make sure that they still have you at their fingertips, okay? But I do feel as though you've been doing some healing from this. And something's definitely over. So it might be over in your mind, but there might be a little bit of pain that is still left behind here. And just remember, you know, when you're dealing with narcissists, like, yes, they are part of the problem, but we also have to heal ourselves. And that's what this Queen of Wands and the Hermit card is about, is about knowing your worth, uh, knowing and accepting you for who you are and not changing yourself just because, you know, you find a new guy or something like that. So definitely, something's definitely over. And I love this because I do feel as though you are on this healing journey. And now we're progressing, okay? So this week, you might be feeling very strong. You've got the Queen of Swords. You've got the Empress card. You've got the Knight of Wands. And you've got the Knight of Swords. So there's a lot of movement um, probably towards the end of this week, I would say. Like you're feeling strong. You're taking action. You're setting those boundaries. And you might be like moving people out of your life because you're just done and you're done feeling the ups and downs. So this might be like the Five of Pentacles could be like somebody like talking to you every day and then you don't hear from them for two days. Um, something like that or they just don't call you back. And that could definitely be what's happening here. And um, <laughs> I'm just getting it's all BS. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the long word, but I ain't going to say it on here. So, but a lot of action. So I think that you've got the Queen of Wands, you've got the Queen of Swords here and the Empress card. So this is about you. This is about taking care of yourself and doing what you need to do in order to be happy and not letting other people bring you down and not giving your power away to other people. So really important to be aware of that this week coming up and especially with the new moon on the 13th you can check out that video also that i just did so um you know that's all about new intentions and just ask yourself like whatever this left out in the cold the five of swords the ten of swords like do you really want to bring that into next year uh, this year right do you really want to bring it into this next year this 2021 it's like let things be and let's move on here into this powerful, powerful energy that you are and that you have. All right, so that is the message for the week. I hope it resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if it does, and just say me in the comments if it does resonate with you. Let me know that these are resonating so I know to keep doing them. But um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't heard already, I'm doing a three days to conquer your confidence challenge, so you can find that in the comment box and also in the description to sign up and join me for three days to really gain this confidence of these queens and this empress here. All right, so much love to you. I'll see you next week. Bye.